Arthur's Substitute Teacher Trouble is the second segment of the 27th episode of the first season of Arthur and this is definitely one of those episodes that pretty much everybody can relate to. Everybody at some point will have a substitute teacher and most classes will have various substitute teachers. Um, I remember two we had were Mrs Britton and Mrs Ray and there was always that excitement or concern of who is going to be our substitute. And that's what Arthur and the gang experience when Mr. Ratburn begins to feel unwell. He has a croaky throat, losing his voice, and they begin to reminisce about different substitute teachers that they've had. And ones they like, ones they haven't. And they talk about, in particular, a substitute teacher called Miss Blank or Mrs. Blank, I can't remember which. And the anecdotes surrounding that genuinely amused me. I really enjoyed that little anecdote uh, and why Buster couldn't remember her. I thought it was just subtle but quite clever. And then ultimately they find out who this substitute teacher is and things are not what they seem. And I'll discuss more about that in detail with a slight spoiler warning because I don't want to reveal that too much. Um, but I do like the fact that it's kind of championing the grass is always greener on the other side. But is it really? Because Arthur and the gang obviously have a love-to-hate relationship with Mr. Ratburn. He's very strict. He's very stern. But when we see here, once they have a substitute teacher, they realise that actually the grass isn't greener on the other side and they're very grateful for Mr. Ratburn. Again, I'll explain with a spoiler warning why that is the case if you haven't seen the episode. But... I think it's a really important message that children should value their teachers even if they are strict. Obviously there are some teachers who are just impossible to deal with. I'm sure we've all had that one teacher at some point who is not just strict but unreasonable. Um, I had a teacher, a geography teacher, who if one person's phone went off in the class and nobody owned up to it, they would take everybody's phone. True story. And that's unreasonable. But Arthur realises that Mr. Ratburn may be strict, but he's he's theirs. He's their teacher. They do have a rapport with him. And it's a lovely little message about being grateful for your teachers and appreciating them. Because when they're not there, you might actually miss them. So a spoiler warning from now. I'll discuss that in a bit more detail. The substitute teacher that they have is Miss Ratburn. Arthur's, uh, Mr. Ratburn's sister rather and that gives us a, a beautiful um, a beautiful sequence where they imagine Mr. and Miss Ratburn as children and what they would have been like which I found very amusing but it turns out Miss Ratburn is the antithesis of Mr. Ratburn. She treats them like children. The work she gives them is too easy and they learn from there that, okay, maybe there's a balance. They could have had a teacher who was finding a middle ground. But if the alternative is that, maybe having something that actually challenges you and pushes your limits and makes you more knowledgeable and more educated and a better learner, that's the better situation here. I would argue that's always the better situation, but obviously a lot of children do not feel that way. I really enjoyed it. Arthur's substitute teacher trouble is quite unpredictable. I found it entertaining. But I think it also has a really important message about valuing your teacher and realising that actually they may seem strict and stern and give you challenging work. But there's a very good reason for that and you will benefit from it in the long run. 